Let's be honest right off the bat, Donald Trump is a terrible president. Oh, and he's a terrible person. And you can throw in a terrible American, too. Dot and it seems that while things continue to deteriorate, the lines have already been drawn. Nothing Trump does or says at this point is going to change the minds of the hardcore Trump supporters. Meanwhile, the rest of America, the ones who are rational, thoughtful, and objective, are left shaking our heads. As Trump continues to isolate the United States, however, the world has begun to weigh in. And one German newspaper has just said what every sane American already thinks about Trump. And folks, it's brutal. Spiegel just published an article called A Danger to the World, It's Time to Get Rid of Donald Trump. Here are some of the highlights colon. Donald Trump is not fit to be President of the United States. He does not possess the requisite intellect and does not understand the significance of the office he holds nor the tasks associated with it. He doesn't read. He doesn't bother to peruse important files and intelligence reports and knows little about the issues that he has identified as his priorities. His decisions are capricious and they are delivered in the form of tyrannical decrees. And with that opening, they capture the basic problem most Americans have with our criminal in chief. But it goes on colon. He is a man free of morals. As has been demonstrated hundreds of times, he is a liar, a racist, and a cheat. I feel ashamed to use these words, as sharp and loud as they are. But if they apply to anyone, they apply to Trump. And one of the media's tasks is to continue telling things as they are, Trump has to be removed from the White House. Quickly. He is a danger to the world. Trump is a miserable politician. He fired the FBI director simply because he could. James Comey had gotten under his skin with his investigation into Trump's confidants. Comey had also refused to swear loyalty and fealty to Trump and to abandon the investigation. He had to go. Trump is also a miserable boss. His people invent excuses for him and lie on his behalf because they have to, but then Trump wakes up and posts tweets that contradict what they have said. He doesn't care that his spokesman, his Secretary of State and his National Security Advisor had just denied that the President had handed Russia, of all countries, sensitive intelligence gleaned from Israel, of all countries. Trump tweeted, Yes, yes, I did, because I can. I'm President after all.